Hi, welcome to EasyDado.com. This video will show you how to get your Easy Dado jig from the box to making dados. If you're wondering why the jig doesn't come ready to use, it's because there's no standard for the distance from the miter slot to the blade. Also, the first cut should be make, made on your table saw because of the characteristics of the blade. This jig is made up of two main units. The sled, which moves the workpiece forward and backwards through the blade, and the carrier, which moves the workpiece laterally. Separate the two pieces, and we'll be working with the sled for now. First thing you need to do is make a couple runners, since the width and depth of the miter slots are also not standard. You want the width to fit the slot tight enough so that there's minimal play, but yet you want it to be able to slide easily. The thickness should be a little bit less than the depth of the slot. The length is about 12 inches with 3 16 inch holes drilled approximately 3 and a half inches from the ends. Countersink the holes set them so that a number 10 by 1 inch screw does not go through the bottom of the jig but yet is flush with the top of the runner. Make a couple marks on the top end, top side of the runners, so that we can line up the front of the jig. There are many ways to attach the runners to the jig. The instructions provide, provided with the jig say to place spacers into the slots. Place the runners on top of the spacers with the countersink side down. Dab glue on the spots that would touch the bare spot on the bottom of the jig. Since glue will, most glues won't stick to melamine. Then it says to place the jig onto the runners. And what I've done is I've cut a piece of scrap wood so that it fits the miter slot but yet sticks up above the table saw a little bit. That way I can run my square up against that piece of wood, keeping it square there, and then squaring up the jig. You also want to make sure that the blade lines up with the center of the jig, which I've indicated with a line here. So we'll move that over a bit. So that is now centered on the blade. We'll go back, make sure that we're square again. And then the instructions say to let it dry. And then when it's dry, we'll flip it over and insert the screws to make it permanent. Since I've written the instruction booklet, I've come across another way to do things and it works very well. We start out the same way by putting the spacers in the slots, putting the runners on top, but instead of dabbing glue, we'll put double face tape and then that way when we go through the same process of lining things up, it'll be a little easier to find out if we're square and if things are running smoothly through the slots. Okay, so here's my sled. I've attached the runners with the method that I just talked about. It fits into the slots, moves smoothly. It's centered on the blade and it's square to the table saw. The next step is to make the initial curve cut. To do so, we reinsert the carrier, we raise the blade a couple inches above the table saw. What I'm going to do is turn on the saw and slowly make a cut into the carrier until the two halves of the carrier are separated. 
the blade will continue into the blade guard quite a ways until the blade is approximately at its highest point into the back of the carrier. Now we have a zero clearance insert and the two halves, if you loosen up the knobs, should come apart. For instructions on how to adjust the jig for dados, check your instruction manual. A video for that should be coming soon. Thank you.